Hello. Hi. Yeah. First off, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support you have been showing me. I'm so thankful for you guys, and with you guys, I'm nothing. So I do want to do a giveaway, but before I get into the giveaway, I hope you guys got everything you wanted for Christmas. I hope you didn't have no coal in your stockings. All right, so for the giveaway, I'm gonna give away $100 worth of V-Bucks, five different cards. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment why you want the V-Bucks down below, and also follow my Twitter because that is the way I will contact you if you win, so I can send you the code. So make sure you're doing all those things, and I hope you guys win. I love you. Anyways, in today's video, I want to talk about the best Fortnite keybinds and sensitivity for beginners. This is the sensitivity and keybinds that help me get better fast. Before we get into that, I do want to show you guys a little sneak peek of where I'm at. So, let's get into the video. Oh yeah, come here, come here. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this, baby. Come here. You don't want none of this, baby. Box. Where are you going? Get over here! Get back over here. Oh my god, default. Poor little default. Stop. Surprise, surprise. Hello, surprise. What do I do? Come here. Why are you running? Why are you running? Out of course, out of course, out of course on him. Where's he at? Map. How do you get the red for Alright, so for my settings, window mode, make sure it's always on full screen. Resolution, 1920 by 1080. The frame rate, it all depends on what type of monitor you guys have, so this would be different for everybody. For me, 144. Brightness, 100. User interface contrast, 1x. Colorblind mode, try to know. Colorblind strength, 10. These colorblind settings are the best when it comes to me being able to see things. So I recommend you use these. 3D resolution, 100%. View distance, medium. Shadows off. Anti-aliasing, high. Textures, medium. Effects, low. Post-processing, low. V-sync off. Motion blur off. Show FPS, I have it on because I like to see what, how many frames I'm getting. Uh, DirectX 11, I think it looks the best personally. So I just use this. I know a lot of people like performance mode. But for me, I use DirectX 11. Uh, this on, off, off, on, off. Matchmaking region, make sure it's auto, wherever you guys live. Language, uh, for me it's English. Toggles for off, for by default on, off. Auto open doors on. Hold the swap, pick up on, because when you go to pick something up off the floor, you can just hold your use button and it will switch it for you. Target targeting off, mark danger targeting on. Auto circle to boost to the right, make sure you have this on, so it'll automatically put your minis and your bandages at the end. Reset building choice on, disable pre edit option on, turbo building on, make sure you guys have this on, confirm edit on release on, uh, make sure you have that on so it's just one less button you won't have to confirm. Uh, and then this, these don't really matter, but at the end I do have this off, this off, and then this is on. My uh, HUD scale 100%, and everything basically on besides latency debug stats, I turned that off, and the creative uh, is off, but this really doesn't matter, it's just for creative. And the thing you guys probably been looking forward to the most for this whole video is my sensitivity. Uh, I play 7.4 for X and Y. My target sensitivity is 42.2 and my scope sensitivity is 50 flat. This is just what's comfortable for me. Lock and put method as mouse. Make sure you have this on. If you do use double movement like me, I use a third party software, Wooting. Make sure you have that on because you will need it. And I have this as 0% and this is off. I don't have before, left, backwards, or right because I do use double movement. My jump is pretty standard, space bar, auto run equals and number lock. Crouch, left control, recommend using that. It's pretty good. I like it. Fire, left mouse, target right, pretty standard key binds. Reload R, use E. I like to use E, I think it's really good. Then my harvesting tool, all my weapon slots are just one through six. My crouch drop building is left control. My wall, thumb mouse, the top button, make sure you put that on, this really does help. My floor is X, stairs is the bottom side button to my mouse. Make sure you guys put this on, I think it's the best, especially when you're starting out. My roof is left shift. I really like left shift because my pinky just naturally rests on it. And also my edit button is F, that's just what I learned, what I learned on, I love it. Mouse wheel down, make sure you guys put this right next to your building edit as well, I will explain in a second. But getting back to why I use F to edit, I just really love it, and that's just what I used in the beginning, and I got comfortable with it. To select my edits, I use the left mouse button, pretty standard, everyone uses it. For reset building edit, make sure you have mouse wheel down, like I was saying before, this is how you get auto score reset. So make sure you have mouse wheel down next to your building edit, and next to your reset building edit. And then these are pretty standard, uh, this really doesn't matter to be honest. Yeah, these are just all BS. 
Once again, I just want to thank you guys for all the love and support. Uh, but with that being said, it's been your boy Jerry. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.